Hey everyone, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. Quick uh, an update video sort of thing for you guys today. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the new Winterboard update that was released in Cydia. Now Winterboard is created by the same creator of Cydia, um, Sarek or Sorek, um, also known as Jay Freeman. Um, so I'll be showing you what the new update includes. Most of you have Winterboard, so I'm not going to go into the whole installation procedure. But you guys know what to do. Go into Cydia, refresh your sources. Um, under changes, there'll be one that says Essential Upgrade. Make sure to click Upgrade Essential, and you'll have the new Winterboard after you respring your Springboard. Now, the Winterboard app still is there. I have it in my InfiniDoc. And there it is. So if I click on it, it has a new layout. First of all, we have an option that says Hide Winterboard. And you might be thinking, why would they want to do that? Reason is that this, that this new update... Uh, allows you to manage your winterboard themes within settings. Now there was an application during the summer, I believe, that let you do the same thing called winterboard settings, but this is official right in the application. Um, so that's why you would be able to uh, have the option to hide winterboard. Uh, I'm actually going to keep winterboard, and I'll tell you why I'm going to do that a little bit later. Then there's the debug logging, so if winterboard does anything wrong, it'll show, uh, it gives you a log of what happened. Uh, winterboard hardly ever malfunctions, so I'm going to keep that off. Summerboard mode, uh, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Uh, I know Summerboard was an old theming application on the 1.1.4 days way back, uh, but I think this allows you to run uh, Summerboard applications. I think the icons are still done in some themes in a Summerboard fashion, uh, so I think that's why that would be on, just taking a guess there. Uh, and then we have an option called Select Themes. This is where we can select the themes that we want to enable and disable. Works just the same. All you have to do is click or deselect the theme that you want to manage, and there'll be an option that says Respring there. I'm going to do that for you guys, but first I'm going to um, talk to you guys about this last option that says Optimize Themes. Now, if you guys are into theming, like advanced theming, you would know that when you take a file system uh, picture or PNG image from a stock image, actually, it is corrupted, uh, or so it says, on your computer. And the reasoning is right here. Those images have been optimized for the iPhone. And optimized images cannot be read by your computer. So that's why um, your photo editing software is like, just Windows Gallery for that matter, GIMP, Photoshop, you need to de um, decode it so you can read it with your computer. Um, iFunbox does the job. There's FixPNG, an older software, but still works just the same. I use FixPNG because for some reason iFunbox isn't working for me. But all this lets you do is click Optimize Themes, and that just makes it so that all your themes run faster. If you're not into um, theming and making your own themes, then definitely do this because it'll make everything go faster. But like me, I'm theming, so if I click Optimize Themes, the theme on my um. My theme on my um, iPod Touch will uh, be optimized, and then I have to decode it so I can do more theming on my computer. So, I would not do that unless you're completely sure you're not going to be theming and messing with the themes. Then you can do that, because I think it'll make it run faster. Alright, so, now, another great feature of this is that you can view it in settings. I actually don't like this too much, so I wouldn't say a great feature, because it takes longer. But if we go to settings... and we go into the Winterboard setting. We're greeted with the same menu we were greeted with when we opened up Winterboard. And we can do this exact same thing, change theme. And I will deselect my stuff I have right now. And I will just enable the I complete theme. And we can click the um, now what we need to do is not click the home button. I don't know if that'll work, but I think what they want you to do is go back and click respring. Now the reason I chose not to hide winterboard like I mentioned before is that this is like three extra steps. To get to this same menu, um, you can open up winterboard one step, or you can go to settings, then go into winterboard. So two extra steps actually. Um, but I find that takes longer. And then of course you have that third step now where you have to actually go into change themes or whatever the option was called. I am not a huge fan of this new update, I'm going to be honest. And lucky for me, I saved the deb file, so I might be reverting back to the old one. I'm not sure because I know a lot of you won't do that, and then it might be confusing in my videos when I use Winterboard. Uh, so I'm not sure yet, but just a quick update video for you guys on this new update of Winterboard, one of the 
most popular applications for the iPod Touch or iPhone. My favorite by far. Um, then after that, there's SB settings and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, take it easy, guys, and have a good Easter break. And I will see you guys in the next video.